What's up everyone, the Wizard Ken here with another Xbox 360 World of Tanks video. Today is Friday, so you know what that means. Roll Back Friday! That's right guys, on today's episode of Roll Back Friday, we're going to be looking at the British Tier 10 Tank Destroyer, the FV215B183, or better known in the game of World of Tanks as the Death Star. And... Uh, before we get into this tank and start talking about it, I've got an announcement to make real quick so that you guys are um, up to date about what's going to be going on the rest of this week with the videos and next week and the vacation days that I have and stuff like that because my vacation is coming up pretty soon. I actually start driving to my vacation destination on Thursday. So anyways, uh, so tomorrow's Saturday and then we have Sunday and on those days we're going to be live streaming. So don't worry, we're going to have a live stream going for the next two days uh, now the only problem is is I usually play that uh, live streams and stuff like that until I have to go to work well unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do that this time because I do need to have some time to start editing some other videos so we're gonna play for like an hour and a half maybe two hours it depends it really depends on what videos I have lined up to edit and stuff like that because uh, some videos I can edit pretty quickly other ones are very elaborate so anyways so like I said uh, we're going to be live streaming tomorrow for an hour and a half, and then I'm going to get off and then start doing my editing again. And then Sunday, same thing, hour and a half, and then I'm going to get off. So you guys will have some time with me tomorrow. It's just not going to be very, very long. Um, anyways, on Monday, we're going to be doing a Loot Crate video. And then on Tuesday, we're probably going to be doing another like random video of World of Tanks. We'll talk about something. Um, and Wednesday also. But from here until Wednesday, that's all the time I have to finish up all the videos I have uh, to do for you guys. I've gotten a couple of them done, but not nearly enough done for the time I'm going to be away. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a laptop of um, or the power of a, you know, a powerful enough laptop to be able to edit what I need to edit with the program I have. So, um, yeah. So I'm pretty much in a predicament like I always am when I'm going on vacation. I have to finish up enough videos. Now, that brings me to the next part. You guys will either get videos every single day or every other day. So it all depends on how much I can get done um, during this time. Now, Thursday, I'm actually going to be traveling. So uh, I'm going to be driving the entire time, like 2,000 miles worth of driving. Uh, usually takes uh, three days to get to where I'm going. I can do it in a day and a half because I just keep driving. I don't like to have to, you know, spend three days on fucking road traveling. That's just stupid. No. Um, I like to get it done with and out of the way. So usually the first day I drive like 24 hours and then the next day I only have a little bit to go because I drove so much. Um, anyways, that being said, so Thursday you will not have a video, but... Friday, once I get to my destination, I will upload, and then depending on how many videos I have, you will get it every day or every other day, something like that, until I get back. Now, I will be bringing at least my um, my Elgato, so I can possibly live stream. I'm not sure. We're going to have to see how that goes and stuff. Um, I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to do that yet. So, anyways, that being said... All right, let's talk about the FE215B183. So, as you guys know, um, this thing is called the Death Star on World of Tanks. And there's a good reason for it. On the movie Star Wars, you see the Death Star roll up to a planet, and it's like, bitch, I own you, and blows it up. That's pretty much what the FE215B183 does. It's an, um, you know, it's a TD artillery, pretty much. Uh, it's got the power of an artillery unit that can pretty much one-shot anybody, too. Um, this thing's a scary tank. When you see this thing rolling, uh, you better hope that you just saw him shoot so that you can kill him. Because if not, then you know you have a decent amount of damage coming towards you. Even in a mouse or an E100, anything like that, this thing can knock you from happy go. I have, you know, 3000 HP, you know, hit points from uh, a mouse down to, uh, I'm crying like a baby because like two more hits and I'm dead from any other tank. So this thing can be very devastating, and if used right and strategically in a field, uh, you know, when me and Rush Dodge take these things out, I mean, we just, we'll shoot one um, and hopefully hit a tank and knock it down. If it goes only halfway, the other FV will probably kill it, 
so these things are nasty as uh, platoon mates and stuff like that but it's it's fun even if you're not an fv215b183 and your buddy is the nice thing is is he can knock the crap out of them and you know depending on how how high the roll was for the damage uh you know you might have to do maybe one or two shots before that tank is dead so rolling in a platoon with this thing is very very nice now over two people having the same tank i think is kind of overdoing it um because somebody's gonna get you know very little damage uh after they shoot you know if two people shoot at the same tank for some reason they do low rolls third person shoots they probably might do like two or three hundred damage because of how much this thing puts out so anyways all right if you guys want to skip this part of the uh video we're going to be talking about the stats the button should be coming up now and uh you can go straight to the battle so anyways here we go Alrighty guys, so let's talk about the stats on this tank. Now, the hit points on this thing is 2,000, so uh, there's a lot of tier 10s that are about 2,000 hit points, you know. Uh, there's heavy tanks that have more, but 2,000 isn't bad, uh, especially for something that just deals out so much damage. You don't want it to have, you know, 3,000 hit points like the mouse does um, and make it OP, because if this thing had 3,000 hit points and the armor that the mouse did... It would be so overpowering, it's not even funny. Plus, it wouldn't be fun to play with because everybody would be going for you just to get rid of you. So, um, the speed on this thing is 34. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. Uh, now, it is a rear-mounted uh, turreted vehicle, but side-scraping with this thing, not going to happen, but so much. Um, you might get lucky here and there, but you're not going to be actually able to do it with this tank um, just because of how weak certain things are. So, talking about how weak things are, the hole on this thing is 152 on the front, 51 on the side, 76 on the rear. So, side scraping, uh, you might be able to get it up there, but I'm, I'm going to tell you, people are going to pen you. I've gotten penned trying to side scrape. I've tried so many different ways. It, It's not even 50-50. It's more of a chance that they're going to pen you than you bouncing. Um, that's how bad the ratio is. Now, the turret on this thing is 254 in the front, 102 on the side, and 76 on the rear. Um, this has a lot of, what you call it, armor on the front of this thing, but there are a lot of weak spots on this thing, so even if you did a hold down position, like if you had a rock that you can hide behind, uh, there's certain spots on this tank I'll shoot at, and I'll be able to pen them and piss them off, especially if, in my, in, if I'm in my Waffle E100 or anything like that, I'm going to piss this tank off. Of course, he's going to be pissed off and shoot at me, but... Um, most of the time I can survive a hit with my Waffle E100. Um, I'll be severely damaged. Like I talked about earlier, this thing just knocks the crap out of people. Um, but I should be able to survive and get those six rounds into this tank. Uh, the rate of fire on this thing is only two rounds a minute. It's a 30 second reload. You're not going to get any faster than that. Sorry. Uh, there's no even reason to try. Now, if you get your crew up there good enough. You might be able to get this thing lowered um, just so you can reload a little bit quicker, but you're never going to get to three rounds. Uh, it's just so that you can reload quicker so that you can get that shot off if somebody's coming after you if they saw you shoot. Now, the penetration on this thing. Now, this is just standard uh, AP rounds. We're going to be talking about the AP rounds, and then we're going to be talking about the HESH rounds that I use. Okay, So the AP rounds do 310 penetration. And the damage with those AP rounds is 1,150. Now, my experience with this tank is I've hit people pretty nicely, but the rolls have been shitty for me with the AP rounds when I first started with this. It was very, very, very crappy for me. It just did not want to work at all for me. So I was just like, this sucks. Then I started using the HESH rounds because, you know, as I learned about the tank, this is... Technically, what most people say you should use in this tank, that it was designed for the Hesh rounds. Now, the Hesh rounds penetration is 275, so we do drop in penetration compared to the AP rounds. But, the damage from this thing, instead of 1,150 like the AP rounds, you do 1,750, give or take, somewhere in there. Now, on this screen, it does say damage, you know, 1,313 to 2,188, that's... Including, like, uh, if you get a really high roll kind of thing. 
Uh, if you are in the other screen, which I'm going to show you right now, I don't know why I just backed out of that, but here we go. It'll tell you exactly the stats I'm giving you, 275, 1750. This is more like an average. When I tell you guys the penetration and, and damage, it's like the average. Now, the stuff in the supply room is more of like the rolls that you could possibly get with it, you know. So, see, that's why it says 206, where we were saying uh, 275 for penetration. So, this gives you a better idea of what the rolls you could get and stuff like that. But, uh, don't underestimate this thing. 2,188, you're going to devastate some people. You're going to damage some people. Now, the one thing I would like you guys to notice, and this is why I've been so scared on using this tank... Uh, with so little silver, especially on a video that I might have to do one or two video or one or two battles with, uh, the, the price of each hash round, each hash round, you get twelve of them. Each of them cost eight thousand silver. Eight thousand silver. I have racked up. I I think the most expensive one I ever did was sixty five or seventy five thousand. Um. Because I pretty much used all my rounds. I, I can't remember how much it was. But it was it was expensive. That's almost 100000 in silver just to play this tank. If you use all your rounds. Now, depending on if you win, of course. And depending on uh, how much damage you do and stuff like that. How much points you get. You might actually break. Not even. But you might be able to bring that down a lot. I have done that a couple of times. I've actually come positive with this tank. Uh, you know, I've shot like four or five rounds off, which is a decent amount off, and I've damaged a good amount of people. Like, I've actually did huge damage to them. We're not talking like six or seven hundred damage. We're doing like 1,700, 1,800 damage to them, and I get a decent amount of money back because I'm doing decent damage. So, if you do a low row, that's why when I play with Rush and I'm just like, well, that was a waste of $8,000 because it's pretty much... I shot somebody and I only did like 300 damage because that's all they had left. Um, so, anyways. Let's move on and take this thing out to a battlefield and hopefully kick some ass. Hopefully I don't have to do multiple battles because I'm really, really low on, on silver. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're on Insk War. We're going to be playing against a lot of tier 10s. A lot of tier 10s. And just a couple tier nines. So, um, they do have an FB 215B 183, a Yacht Panther U100, and a Waffle U100. So, my goal is to, yank, uh, to take out the U100 just because the Waffle U100, because um, I could tear them up with the hatch rounds that they have. Alrighty, so um, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering where I've been on Xbox. Um, you guys haven't seen me play any of the um, World of Tanks in like the last couple days. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I've been hard at work. Like I said, this channel is changing to become full time. And I need to get a lot of things around to be able to do that. And so what I did was I started changing up my Twitch stuff. You know, I started adding all the donation stuff and this and that. Now, when you guys donate or we get a new uh, follower, um, and one day when we can do the subscriber button, um, things will pop up on the screen, and you guys will hear sounds and different things like that. Uh, it was, you know, I, I got some really cool things made up for us on it, which I'm really excited about. Also, um, I'm going to be streaming through a different device, so I'm going to use Elgato, but I'm going to be using um, OBS, Open Broadcasting, um, program to run everything so hopefully you guys will start seeing like the twitch chat on the screen and all this that there's there's a lot of things I still need to add but I've been you know spending a lot of my time trying to learn this stuff because uh, I've never done it before so there's some neat things I'm gonna be adding to the stream I've got an outline too that goes around like the bottom of the screen and um, it kind of looks like um, a disaster zone. But uh, how do I explain it better? But the problem is, is when I zoom in like this, it kind of screws up the screen a little bit.
Oh man, I don't have the best shot on this guy. Yeah, that was terrible. I should have stayed aimed in and just take a shot from him. That was my bad. That was a terrible, terrible shot. I was trying to hit that lower plate, get as much damage as possible. Probably could have shot the side too. So, in this tank, you don't want to push out a lot. You got to have a spot you can hide into to get your reload in there. Because if this Yogg Panzer gets another shot on me, I'm probably going to die. He took a lot out of me. Ah! Stupid wood's in the way. Ah, another bad roll. That was terrible. Almost killed him. But another bad roll. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Their team is rolling up, and I did not want to get hit. Ooh. All right. These are bad rolls, guys, just to let you know. These are terrible rolls that we're doing. But I can't have... I don't have enough time to aim in and do anything to anybody. Ah. There we go. Hey, they fixed it so that I go off a person. It actually allows me to say... Nope. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it went off... Is it? No. I hate it that I have to look away from somebody to say I'm reloading. really don't like having to say that shit. I'm going to tell them that I'm loaded. Where's this guy at? Okay, he's hiding around the corner. I don't want anybody sneaking up behind us either. That could be a problem too. We do have a mouse. Let him go in there. <laughs> Alright, let's help this, this guy out. Alright, well, we did hit the uh, TD, but we didn't do a lot of damage. We're doing a lot of low rolls on this. A lot of low rolls. Ah, I gotta get turned around. Scree oh, I couldn't get the shot off. Alrighty guys, so we didn't do terrible in silver. We did negative 10,000. So we, like I said, I did a lot of low rolls on that one. Um, but if we could have done a little bit better rolls, we could have done some. Um, you probably would have went positive in the uh, silver. 3,360 in experience points. And like I said, I didn't do much of anything. Didn't do much of anything. Look at this. Um, going back, Yawk Panzer 100, 545. 749 for the FV. Uh, 855 for E50. And the T110E4, 566 damage. So, not very good at all. Alright, guys, we're in step standard battle. We're going to be facing against tier 10, tier 9s, and looks like a tier 8 and a tier 7. Let's see, what else do they have? Any artillery? Yes, they do. They have a 53. 55. Frenchy girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll see how this one goes. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot. Uh, welcome all you new subscribers and old subscribers. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining us. And uh, for you old subscribers, thank you so much for standing by me and supporting me. It really means a lot that you guys are still here and we're growing like crazy. Thank you so, so much about that. Um, wow. My team is not going to be going the way I think. Yeah. What are these guys doing? Oh, man. This could be very bad for us going this way. Anyways. 
I want to thank you guys so much too. Also, me and my wife both do. She's not here right now. She's at work. Um, which I'm going to be doing in a little bit. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting us on our video that we made the other day. Um, you know, it's always iffy on how things are going to go when, um, you know, when you make videos like that. Uh, I know some people have, you know, expressed their feelings that uh, maybe we uh, talked about a little bit too much stuff. But uh, they were still supportive about the cause and stuff. And uh, I want to thank you guys for that. But the thing is, is I want to be as open as possible with you guys, you know, without, you know, giving out too much info. I want to thank you guys for everything you do. Um, you know, there's there's only so much we can... Oh my god, here we go. Boop. All right, so, like I was going to say, um, you know, I, I don't want to indulge, uh, you know, say too much about stuff, but, you know, I want to make sure you guys understand what's going on and stuff like that. It really does, um, you know, show that I care about you guys. I mean, I just do. I love you guys a lot. I love you guys a lot. And uh, I know you guys love and this channel and everything and, and care about me. And uh, a lot of other YouTubers have done the same thing. And they've gotten a lot of support from their people. You know, when they say, hey, you know, I have, you know, this health issue or something else is going on. You know. You know, you hear about these things and uh, you just get so much support sometimes. And it's great that you guys are doing that. And I appreciate it a lot. I really, really do. God, I've got a light tank over here. I've got fucking bullshit next to me. Oh my god. So much bullshit. Wow. God damn it. We're gonna die. God, our team. I hate it when they're like this. Damn it. Alrighty, guys. 1,270,000 ,000 in um, silver. So, not bad at all. We actually made up on our uh, on our uh, silver, which isn't bad at all. 2,438 in um, experience points. We did 1,550 damage to the T-54. T-110 E5 was 1,783. And the FV 215B 1,865. Uh, we scored as the top damage dealer doing 5,000 damage. So, not bad. And that was only with three shots. Three well-placed shots um, that were really, really nice. Now, uh, we destroyed two enemies, which is nice. We killed the T-110 E5 and the, um, what was it, the T-54? Yeah, T-54. And then the other ones we did decent damage to. But unfortunately, my team failed in helping us out. So unfortunately, that's where our damage stopped. Just think of where our damage could have been if our team had actually backed us up over there. I probably could have gotten up to seven, 8,000 damage depending on how well my shots hit and stuff like that. It, it just felt like a good game. But unfortunately, my team sucked. Uh, we still had more guys in them, but we still lost Alrighty guys, so that's another episode of a Rollback Friday with the FV215B183. Now, you saw two battles, well, one full battle, and then you saw a portion of another one because, unfortunately, like you guys saw, I started out, team died right away. Um, well, my team failed to go the other way, and I died right away, so uh, that sucks. It really does. We did a good amount of damage, but I wanted to show you both, uh, you know, portions of the second battle because that's where the Death Star's name comes from. Uh, just being able to one-shot people. I know the T-125 was already damaged a little bit, but we still got majority of his hit points. So it was a well worth shot. Um, you know, I hit him in a really nice soft spot. It took him out. Uh, T-54, same thing. Nice to have some mediums come up like that because it's just a dev it's devastating uh, tank to hit mediums with. And then also... Uh, you know, the FE wasn't too bad to shoot at and get some extra damage in there. Uh, 5,000 damage on that second game. So, like I said, the first game wasn't good, but at least you could see, uh, you know, me playing with other players and stuff like that and how, you know, I just, I clutch shot a lot of things. It, 
it's good to see the comparisons between the two games where one I was you know really rushing my shots and I wasn't taking my time to aim in and get those really weak spots like underbellies and different things like that um, and then on the second game you can see where I aimed in I took my time and I got the good shots in there I made sure I hit certain spots that I knew was going to penetrate really nicely and damage as much as possible and stuff so the FE215B is a, uh, or 215B 183. I should add the 183 at the end because the, if I just say FE215B, that's a heavy tank. So, um, but the 183 is really nasty. It's a good line to go down. It can be very tough and, uh, can piss you off a lot because you're going down a line where you do not have, well, this is a limited turret also, but it, you've got a lot more range with this, uh, to move your turret back and forth. You're going down, uh, the other, uh, TDs on that line that just are very crappy like the tortoise and stuff like that it's a decent tank but it's not amazing uh, at least not for me I didn't care for it that much uh, there's other ones on that line that just uh, you, you wish you had a rotating turret you know just like the FV you know it doesn't have to be um, a fully rotating turret just something so anyways we did good with this tank we could have done a lot better but unfortunately you know just like a lot of tanks it's very dependent on your teammates and how they play and stuff like that i knew that that was probably going to be a bad side to go down i did my best um but unfortunately we didn't survive and we didn't win <laughs> anyways guys i'm wizard ken thank you so much for watching this video once again hit that like button if uh you guys like this video this is a very fun tank it's worth going down this line Anyways, until next time, see you guys.